the genetic origins of the ancient Israelites. In today's video, we delve into the fascinating world of genetic research to uncover the mysteries surrounding ancient Israelite DNA. Join us as we explore the latest scientific findings and shed light on the genetic heritage of this ancient civilization. Let's get started. When we think of the Israelites or Jews, we often associate them with the stories and events recorded in the Bible. But beyond the narratives, what can genetics tell us about their ancient heritage? The ancient Israelites were a Semitic-speaking people who emerged in the ancient Near East during the Iron Age. But where did they come from? They are historically and culturally linked to the region that encompasses modern-day Israel, Palestine, and parts of Jordan and Lebanon. The Israelites are best known for their religious and cultural contributions, particularly their monotheistic belief in Yahweh as recorded in the Hebrew Bible. According to biblical accounts and archaeological evidence, the Israelites originated from a group of Canaanite tribes in the late 2nd millennium BCE. They went through various stages of development including a period of settlement in Canaan, the establishment of a united monarchy under kings like Saul, David, and Solomon, and subsequent divisions into the kingdoms of Israel, Northern Kingdom, and Judah, Southern Kingdom. The Israelites experienced significant political, military and cultural interactions with neighboring civilizations, such as the Egyptians, Assyrians, Babylonians, and Persians. These interactions influenced their religious practices, political structures, and artistic expressions. Many people are familiar with all these stories and events recorded in the Bible. But beyond the narratives, what can genetics tell us about their ancient heritage? And where did they come from? Genetic researchers have been working tirelessly to trace the ancient Israelites' genetic origins. Recent studies led by renowned geneticists such as Dr. David Reich and Dr. Harry Oster have focused on analyzing the DNA of modern-day Jewish populations and ancient remains such as bones, teeth, and even preserved organic materials. Researchers have been able to unravel the genetic code of the Israelites who lived thousands of years ago. This breakthrough has opened up a world of possibilities for understanding their ancestral lineage and the connections they may have with modern populations. One of the most remarkable findings in the study of ancient Israelite DNA is the genetic continuity between modern-day Jewish populations and their ancient Israelite ancestors. Through extensive genetic analysis and comparison, scientists have uncovered compelling evidence of a shared genetic heritage. Studies have examined various Jewish communities, including Ashkenazi Jews of Central and Eastern European descent, Sephardic Jews of Spanish, and Portuguese origin and Mizrahi Jews from the Middle East and North Africa. These studies have consistently revealed genetic connections between these modern Jewish populations and the ancient Israelites. Let's take a closer look at each of these communities starting with the Ashkenazi Jews. Among the diverse Jewish communities around the world, Ashkenazi Jews represent the largest subgroup. They have a rich genetic heritage that links them to the ancient Israelites, with their origins primarily traced back to the Middle East. However, their genetic profile has been shaped by centuries of migration and intermixing with local populations in Europe. The Ashkenazi Jewish population emerged in the medieval period, primarily in Central and Eastern Europe. Their ancestors migrated from the Middle East, where the ancient Israelites resided, and settled in various regions of Europe, including present-day Germany, Poland, Russia, and other Eastern European countries. Over time, Ashkenazi Jews developed a distinct genetic profile influenced by the populations among whom they lived. Genetic studies have revealed that Ashkenazi Jews share a common ancestry with the ancient Israelites, as evidenced by specific genetic markers and variations present in both populations. However, due to their prolonged isolation and unique historical experiences, Ashkenazi Jews have acquired additional genetic variations not found in other Jewish communities or the general Middle Eastern population. These genetic markers arose through a combination of genetic drift, natural selection, and intermarriage within the Ashkenazi community. It is important to note that while Ashkenazi Jews have a distinct genetic profile, genetic diversity exists within the Ashkenazi Jewish population itself. This diversity can be attributed to historical migrations, regional variations, and intermarriage with local populations across different European regions. Next, we have Sephardic Jews, 
whose ancestry can be traced back to the Iberian Peninsula and North Africa, also share ancestral connections with the ancient Israelites. However, their genetic heritage has been shaped by a unique historical trajectory, influenced by migrations, forced dispersals, and interactions with diverse populations. The term Sephardic originally referred to Jews who resided in the Iberian Peninsula, including Spain and Portugal during the medieval period. However, their story took a dramatic turn with the onset of the Spanish Inquisition in the late 15th century. When Jews faced persecution and were forced to convert to Christianity or leave the region, the Sephardic Jews who chose to leave the Iberian Peninsula embarked on a diaspora that spread across various parts of the world. They carried their cultural and genetic heritage with them, blending with local populations as they settled in new lands. Sephardic communities established themselves in regions such as North Africa, the Ottoman Empire, the Balkans, Italy, and the Netherlands, among others. Over time, they intermarried with local populations, creating a unique genetic mosaic that reflects their diverse ancestral origins. Genetic studies have revealed that Sephardic Jews maintain genetic links to the ancient Israelites, as evidenced by shared genetic markers and variations. However, their genetic profile also reflects the genetic contributions from the populations among whom they resided during their migrations and dispersals. The Sephardic Jewish population is characterized by genetic diversity, influenced by the different regions and populations with which they intermixed throughout history. This diversity serves as a testament to the resilience of Sephardic communities and their ability to preserve their unique genetic heritage while adapting to new environments. Additionally, there are Mizrahi Jews who, originating from the Middle East and North Africa, have maintained a strong genetic connection to their ancient Israelite ancestors. Their genetic makeup is a testament to the rich and diverse cultural and historical interactions that have shaped the region over thousands of years. Mizrahi Jews have a long history in the Middle East and North Africa, with Jewish communities present in countries such as Iraq, Iran, Yemen, Egypt, Morocco, and many others. These communities have developed unique cultural traditions and languages while preserving their genetic heritage. The genetic continuity between Mizrahi Jews and the ancient Israelites has been confirmed through genetic analysis. By comparing the DNA of Mizrahi Jews with ancient DNA samples from the region, scientists have identified shared genetic markers and variations that serve as evidence of a common ancestry. Mizrahi Jews have genetic diversity within their population, reflecting the historical and geographic diversity of the regions they have inhabited. Their genetic makeup has been influenced by interactions with local populations, including Arabs, Persians, Berbers, and other groups, resulting in a unique genetic mosaic. Mizrahi Jews have preserved their genetic heritage despite historical events such as forced migrations, diasporas, and cultural assimilation. Their genetic markers and variations are a testament to their resilience and their ability to maintain their distinct genetic identity in the face of diverse historical and cultural influences. Mizrahi Jewish communities have contributed significantly to the cultural and intellectual history of the Middle East and North Africa. They have developed rich traditions in music, art, cuisine, and language, which are intertwined with their genetic heritage and reflect the diversity of the regions they call home. Over the centuries, different Jewish communities have developed, each representing a part of Jewish history and culture. These three subdivisions of Jewish groups demonstrates the resilience and variety of the Jewish people across the world. For example, several Jewish groups show a strong genetic similarity to populations in the region that includes Lebanon, Palestine, Bedouins, Jordan, and Syria. Additionally, Jews from the region of Mesopotamia and those residing in various European countries like Italy, Germany, Poland, Ukraine, and Russia, exhibit genetic overlaps with the non-Jewish populations of their respective regions, particularly along maternal lines. This suggests that there has been some mixing and intermingling between Jewish communities and certain European populations, especially among Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews who primarily have roots in Southern Europe but also have connections to other European regions. Some genetic studies even indicate a connection between Ashkenazi Jews and specific European populations, suggesting interbreeding that occurred in the distant past. 
Furthermore, studies have revealed that Ben Israel Jews, Jews from Cochin in India and Beta Israel from Ethiopia, while sharing similarities with local populations, also carry traces of Jewish ancestry or exhibit genetic connections to other Semitic populations, such as Ethiopian Jews. In addition, there are different Jewish groups with diverse ancestral backgrounds, some more prominent than others, as revealed by genetic studies on ancient Israelite DNA. One fascinating group is the Jews of Ethiopia, also known as Beta Israel or Phasia. They have a unique history and are believed to be descendants of the lost tribes of Israel, specifically the tribe of Dan or the tribe of Manasseh. Thousands of years ago, during the times of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, they migrated to Ethiopia. For centuries, the Beta Israel lived in isolation, maintaining their distinct religious and cultural practices. Their form of Judaism incorporated elements of the Old Testament but also had some differences from mainstream Jewish traditions. Apart from the Jews, there is also the ancient Samaritan community that still exists today. They share a significant portion of their genetic heritage with the ancient Israelites. Palestinians, who currently reside in the region where ancient Jewish presence was prominent, also inherit part of this DNA. A 2017 study published in Frontiers in Genetics showed that there is a genetic affinity between ancient Levantines, including Bedouins, and contemporary Palestinians, indicating their shared genetic connections. Furthermore, a study conducted in 2017 found that Palestinians have a predominant genetic ancestry from ancient Levantines, with a continuity of genetic traits between the Bronze Age and the present-day population. This suggests a genetic link between various Arabic-speaking groups in the region. Another study in 2020 revealed significant genetic continuity between the human remains of Palestinian and Israelite populations from the Bronze Age, further supporting the genetic connection. Palestinians along with Druze, Lebanese, Jordanians, Bedouins, Syrians, Ashkenazi Jews, Mizrahi Jews, Iranians and Moroccans have been the subjects of ancestral studies. It has been discovered that Palestinians among other Levantine groups derive approximately 81% of their ancestry from ancient Levantines of the Bronze Age, who are related to the ancient Israelites and other Semitic tribes in the region including the Canaanites. In the case of Ashkenazi Jews, genetic studies have shown that, in addition to ancient Israelite and Semitic DNA, they also possess an average of two of European ancestry from Germanic, Italian, and Slavic populations. When analyzing the genetics of ancient Semitic Israelites and current Jewish groups, Ashkenazi Jews are found to have between 20% to 28% of their genetic makeup derived from ancient Israelites, with some individuals reaching up to 39%. However, the majority of their ancestry, approximately 58% to 60%, is of European origin due to intermixing with Europeans during the Diaspora. Sephardic Jews, on the other hand, show a slightly higher percentage of ancient Israelite genetic origin compared to Ashkenazi Jews. However, approximately half of their genetic composition is similar to that of Ashkenazi Jews with European influences. Mizrahi Jews, who remained in the Middle East without significant mixing with European populations, have a substantial percentage exceeding 63% of their genetic makeup derived from ancient Israelites. Among Jewish groups, Mizrahi Jews are the closest genetically to the ancient Israelites. In summary, while Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews are also descendants of the ancient Jews, Mizrahi Jews have a higher genetic affinity with the ancient Israelites. Thank you for joining us today on this fascinating expedition into the world of ancient Israelite DNA. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with others who have similar interests. Also, leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and any other biblical topics you'd like us to explore in future videos. Until next time, may the hope of resurrection and the assurance of God's power over death bring you comfort and strength. God bless you.